Good day, everybody. Welcome back to the studio. Oh, you're not going to believe it. I'm editing like four videos all at the same time, and I hope I don't get muddled up. But this is just an old, uh, like an acrylic pour that I did probably about four and a half years ago. And I just kept it, um, and it just sort of popped up because I was going through my stuff and uh, sorting out what I'm going to sell, what I'm going to scrap, and uh, I'm not going to scrap a lot. So I decided to make some planets. I already had like a house uh, kind of uh, sketched in there. So I'm just going around with some black paint, actually, and a brush. It feels great to use a paintbrush. I know, for a traditional artist, it's it's amazeballs. And that moon that you can see there, I've just used some, uh, I, can't, I can't even remember what I used, but something, maybe even um, Plaster or Paris, I don't know. It's one of those things is pretty crumbly, so it definitely needs to be covered with resin. And just going around with that brush, of uh, this is eight times the speed, or maybe even more, and now just using that dirty water where I rinsed my brush I just use the dirty water to uh, create some shading um, on the house just underneath the, the roof there and creating some windows and a door and all that good stuff that you can usually find on a house Going back and forth. Yeah, I, I spent quite a bit of time there. So now just dipping my finger in that dirty water and uh, just uh, kind of covering that moon and then just you know, brushing it off and then dipping my, my, um, my paper towel into that water as well. And now dipping the paper towel uh, in into some liquid tint, Lares, uh liquid tint, just to give it a little bit of color oh that was too quick I couldn't see what color that was but it's a uh, bluey greeny color color okay color so and then just rubbing off some of it off so that you can kind of see um, that those creases and things so now oh god this was a real challenge I have mixed some texture which I, I just made it myself and, it was, and with some tint and it was really great while it was liquidy but the the texture was um, the grit actually was too thick and it just uh, wasn't coming out anymore all the tint came out but the all the thick stuff wasn't wasn't budging at all through that piping bag so then I just decided to just scoop it up and and arrange it and it worked out perfect so and that's what you do you know you just uh, improvise I think I should be called the queen of improvisation because <laughs> I think I do a lot of it and now just uh, you know doing some final details there okay so I've got my little piece here and just because I've got a tiny little bit of resin left from a pour that I just did I'm going to use it up and I'm going to use it up and finish this piece because this piece just needs to be finished. So I've got a little bit of um, this emerald teal in this just left over from the, the last pour. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use it. I've got to give it a really good stir because I want to pick up some as much as possible. But look how beautiful and transparent that is. And uh, what I might do is put some sprinkly, shimmery stuff in there. But I won't do that because, anyway, let's go. Because I want it only on the blacks, black spaces. So I'm just going to kind of paint this on now. I'll just pour a little bit here and there. And then just paint it just with my little spatula. Here we go. Well, I can even use my fingers and just go around these moons. I don't so now that I've covered the whole canvas, I'm just going to go around with this beautiful crushed glass. This is Lares Diamond Dust. I'm just going to go around and sprinkle it. It's perfect for this. 
So here we go, my intergalactic fantasy planet painting. I've slowed it down a little bit so that you can actually see, and I do apologize about the lights um, interfering, but look at that. That's um, that glitter. I didn't tell you about that because I just decided the last minute, as I do, to sprinkle a little bit of my new uh, lilac gold glitter and onto that planet and it looks amazing. I also fixed the, the moon as you can see here by just adding a little bit of um, satin white on the wet resin which so I resined it again and now it's done. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. Bye.